Welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're going to look at type case. So if you've seen uh, the video on case, this is going to be very familiar. This is used in one of those cases where you want to execute, to evaluate a certain form dependent on the type of another value. So in this case, we've got a function and we're going to pass in a single argument, which is going to be bound to x. And then dependent on the type of the value that's bound to x, we're going to pick one of these things. So if x contains an integer, bound to an integer, we're going to multiply that integer by 10. I'm going to return that. And otherwise, if it's a string, we're going to do something daft. We're just going to um, double that string. We're going to put it next to each other twice. If you're not used to the format syntax, check out our other video on format. Um, otherwise, uh, this is like if it doesn't match either of these, it's just going to say nope and say what the value was. So let's compile this and then go over to our REPL and check it out. So if we do test 10, oh great, we get 100. So it's multiplied by 10. Of course, that will work with whatever we throw at it. And then maybe we say hi. So now we get hi, hi back. So it came in here. This is called the key form. And it doesn't have to just be a single variable. You can put any expression here and it'll be checking the type of that, the result of that expression, the result of the evaluation will be a value. And the type of that value will be used on, will be used to designate what branch we go to. Um, and lastly, we have this otherwise. So let's pass in something that isn't an integer or a string, let's pass in a float. And in this case, it's gonna say, nope, and return 1.4. And we can throw any other thing in there and it's gonna have that effect. So let's say a half. Now, just like with case, there are variants of type case, like E type case. This is gonna return, this is gonna return. This is gonna throw an error if one of our cases doesn't match. So let's um, to compile that and we'll evaluate it again, passing in something that's incorrect. And it's gonna freak out. We've got an error here that's saying a half fell through the e-type expression. It wanted one of integer or string. And so that's explaining our problem there. So sometimes you're going to want uh, the default behavior, which is not to throw an error, and in fact to just return nil, just like in case. But sometimes you're going to want that error because it you know, gives us a fairly reasonable explanation. It doesn't give you a context-aware explanation, of course. So if you're doing that in your code, you might want to... Uh, use otherwise then throw a more explanatory error but that's the behavior so far um i think that's enough for now if you've got any questions throw them below and otherwise catch you again in another video